Hi, my name is Fred and I identify as a, a social worker who strives to bring uh, equality and who, who is fighting for uh, peace for everybody in this, con in this world. I am from Uganda and growing up as a, a kid from nothing, I've been seeing a lot of injustices happening all over the world, not only in my country, Uganda, but all over the world, uh, up to the current one that is happening between Russia and Ukraine. So it hurt, <clears throat> it hurts my heart because these are the things that shouldn't be happening in the 21st century, where everybody is considered to be um, educated or at least there is a global awareness of things that is going on and we have all the resources around us to uh, stop all the injustices that happening all over the world but talking about the vision for our future we need to be more um loving we need to be more uh, self-caring and we also have to do self-awareness you have to look deep into your heart to look deep in inside you and see what what are the things that you value what are your values what do you care for because if you care for other people then you're going to be finding these wars that are happening all over the world very uh, annoying and very disturbing and then we can come to a common goal of preventing such wars to happen because guess what when a war happens like what's going on between ukraine and russia people who suffer the most are the innocent people people who don't even have anything to do with the war things people like kids people like women people like older people people who are in the hospital looking for help health care and all of a sudden they hear or they are building bombed and because of these wars people cannot function there's some countries like congo where there is conflict over and over and over and people don't even function because they are scared of their lives people live in cons in refugee camps nobody wants to live in refugee camps but looking in history there are people who benefit from these wars and those are the most challenges we have because a lot of people who manufacture companies who manufacture weapons they want wars to happen because they benefit, they profit off the wars. So they want wars to happen. And as long as we still have companies, big factories that manufacture weapons, we probably going to have wars. But at least as young people, we can do better than this. We can educate ourselves on the conflicts. We can educate ourselves, starting with evaluating yourself, educating yourself, and then come to realize who, what, are, what are your values? Because if we can have uh, a country or a, a future with, with a lot of conflict, there's no development, there is no future. So if we are talking about the vision for our future, we have to talk about a vision, we have to talk a future that has no wars. And we have to come strongly and oppose all these countries that manufacture weapons, countries that benefit from wars. We've seen them, we've seen wars in Iraq that was created out of nowhere, nothing. With propaganda, we've seen Afghanistan, people die every day, but other countries, they have a lot of interest because they benefit from, because in their countries, they don't have wars. So look at Europe, the Europe has been, uh, orchestrating wars in history, but they don't have wars, so they end up benefiting from all these wars. So we have to do better than this. We have to encourage peace talks. We have to f encourage um, uh, 
gentleman understanding we have to teach our kids how to utilize the resources they have to engage in peace talks when they grow up so like the war in ukraine and russia if they do peace talks then people won't be suffering they could resolve amicably and then they stop the war we also have an issue of united nations security council that has permanent members and one of the permanent member if they veto whatever resolution nothing is going to happen that's why russia is taking advantage of ukraine because it's one of the permanent member on the united states council and why would this crazy why would you have permanent member on a council that is supposed to have uh, to overlook all the injustices around the world and why would Europe has two permanent members? Africa doesn't have a 